Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, really quickly, before I have to go get my kids from the bus stop, I thought I'd show you guys my K's Scented Wax Melts haul. This does include some customs. Um, I have been a little bit custom crazy with her recently, only because um, there's lots of new oils out there these last couple months, or just new ideas, I guess, that I have been wanting to put together. So, um, K's, I, so I have previous videos where I've talked a lot about K's. She's amazing. Um, she is where I suggest most waxies start because she has so many um, cups, which I will show you here in a second, that are single scented oils where you can learn a lot about wax and what single scented oils smell like, where you can make customs and see how they blend, where she also has house blends um, that you can get and understand how things melt together. Um, so she has... So she used to have like one ounce scent shots. I feel like on her site now, all of them are two ounce scent shots, which is okay. Uh, the two ounce scent shots are $2.25. And then I'm going to be showing you guys her K cuts, which are her custom. She also does customs in loaves, rose loaves and decorated loaves. I just have her plain K cuts, which I appreciate. She gets her wax out so fast. I don't mind that her wax is not like decorative and in shapes and stuff like that. Um, I care about how it melts and how it smells. So um, anyway, so her K cuts, the eight ounce bags are $10 and these are the customs. And then I also have one blend that I did get 16 ounces in um, and that was $18. So 16 ounces for $18. Um, and then she did, because this was a couple uh, orders together, she did refund some shipping. Um, and then Connie, which is one of her helpers, just wrote, thank you again, Danny, as always, great blends. So um, that is very sweet. I will do my cups to show you guys first. This is what her two ounce scent shots look like. So they just have her website on there. Sorry about the sun. And then um, her, the name. Oh, I don't even have my ring light on. It's just holding my camera. So um, this first one I got is Raspberry Peach Macaron. And the reason I got this one is because everyone talks about the Bath & Body Works candle in this scent and how much they like it. And this is a Bath & Body Works dupe. And so I thought I'd give it a smell. It does smell raspberry-ish. I don't smell much peach. It smells almost like a raspberry, maybe a touch of peach, like cobbler to me is like what this smells like. And I got two two ounce scent shot cups um, just to see what it's like. So um, yeah, it's another one in there. When I find it, I'll put it to the side and let you know that we've already spoken about it. Um, this next one that I'm just pulling out, I do not think I ordered this one. So this must be a sample. Um, and it's a nutmeg and spice. And I'm wondering, Ooh, that's good. Uh, Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom. I wonder if this is that nutmeg. Am I correct that that candle you love from Bath of Body Works was nutmeg and spice? I think you would really like this one. It's like a very creamy nutmeg. Ooh, is this, I'm gonna have to ask Carla. I'm gonna message her and ask her if this is new because I don't think I've had this from her site, but it also could just be one that I'm like, nutmeg and spice, I don't need to order it, who knows? But that is really good. Um, Wow, it's like, how do they make a spice scent so creamy? Oh, that's good. Um, Mel, Sorry, Jocelyn. <laughs> My daughter with autism, she's out there and she's very excited about Alice in Wonderland. Um, anyway, I'm going to ask Melanie if she has had that one before because I wonder if that's the candle type from Bath & Body Works that she likes. Um, I believe this is a sample as well because I did not order this. This is Stargazer Lily. And this is a very, very fresh, like almost hair product-y floral. This is very feminine, like, yeah, like hair product floral. It smells like it's gonna be very strong. Um, this would be a fun one to melt like when you're getting ready to go somewhere because it smells like like women's getting ready products, if that makes sense. And this is one I did order called Soleil Blanc. This is the um, Tom Ford type. It's a perfume that I'm obsessed with. It's very much like a tropical floral perfume. And the reason why I ordered this is because I wanted to smell it by itself because I actually put it in a custom and I wanted to be able to like, Jossie, be quiet, honey, just for a few minutes, okay? okay. Thank you. I wanted to be able to smell what it smelled like by itself. It does smell kind of light. 
Oh, but it smells so good. So if you haven't smelled Tom Ford Solio Blanc, excuse me, it's actually my favorite perfume so far by him. It's almost sunscreen-y with like an added feminine like tiara flower to it, like a white tropical flower. It's beautiful. Um, so I'll have to save this for a special time because it's really pretty. Um, one that she sent me, and she let me know that she sent this, to, sent this to me to try it out. This is Tom Ford's Lost Cherry Type. Um, I already smelled this, and let me tell you something. A few other vendors, well, specifically one other, I've gotten a sample of Lost Cherry Type, and I don't know if they're both dupes or if they're house blends or what, but I think she said this was a dupe. If the perfume smelled like this, I would want it. The other vendor's sample that I got had a much more like almondy cherry note to it. This is like an earthy, musky, dark cherry without being cherry. I don't know how else to explain that. Um, This is really nice. Um, I can very much imagine some blends I would make with this. <laughs> um, That I would add some very dark earthy woodsy things with this or tobacco that is really good um I'll have to message Carla and let her know that that is a yes that is a great oil a couple other samples here it looks like so she sends little cute shapes and samples sometimes this first one is spa weekend um she this is a very famous one for her a lot of people like this one um to me this is a citrusy spa it's, it is very nice. It's pretty. It's bright. It's very spa-like. A lot of people order a ton of this and melt it very often. It's a very, very popular spa scent from her. Um, it's a fresh, clean, bright spa scent. Uh, this next one must be new because I have not smelled this one before. It's apricot and crushed mint in this really cute little sheep melt. It literally smells like an apricot and crushed mint leaves. Not, it's almost like an apricot tea with crushed mint in it. So not my favorite, but like that smells exactly like what it's called. So that's really interesting. Um, I bet a lot of people would like that one. And then this last one is a little flower in her Bite Me oil. Um, this one, so Bite Me by itself, to me, smells a lot like, like a bomb pop, like a cherry-based popsicle. I really like this one in certain blends. Um, she has a really good bite me, bite me oil, by the way. I have melted this before, and it's really strong. I really like this mixed with fizzy, any kind of fizzy, um, and like with lemon. Something to make it a little bit brighter, because this is very like syrupy, juicy, like literally... Like if a bomb pop melted. <laughs> um, so keep that in mind when you're making customs for summer because this really, to me, smells like a bomb pop. Really nice. And then I ordered a bunch of, oh, one more that she said that she sent me. Violet. This is a new oil of hers. I love the color of this wax. I have a thing for pink wax. Oh. I like this. This is not like sugared violets. I'm not a huge fan of sugared violet wax. But this, hmm, I have, I have not smelled this in the vendor wax world before, but I have smelled this in my life before. Does this actually smell like, I don't know. This smells like a realistic something. Maybe it's like a violet, but my dad used to grow little things of African violets. Whatever this is, it's a very fond memory, and maybe that's what it is. It's not very strong on cold. Mm, definitely nostalgic in some way. It smells, it could lean body carish, but it definitely is. It's violet -y. I don't know. This is interesting. I am going to have to melt this and let you guys know. Um, I like it. That's new and different, and I'm always looking for new and different. Okay, and then I wanted, I got one of each of her coffee scents because I was just feeling some coffee. Oh, gosh, I keep finding things she sent me. <laughs> one more sample. This is what her one-ounce scent shot looks like. This is tobacco leaf and amber. Ooh. That smells like, 
a slightly sweetened but extremely resinous amber and tobacco. Okay. I like me that. Okay, my earthy lovers. Welcome to this oil, tobacco leaf and amber. That is sexy and wow. Wow, that's good. Okay, now coffee sample, coffee things. There's five here. Did I get them all different? Yeah. So there's five different coffees here. This first one is called Snickers Coffee. This is a very popular one. People love this. I don't think I've ever gotten this one before because I thought it would just be too sweet. And it is very sweet. <laughs> I am going to have to be in the mood for this one. There's like definitely like peanuts and caramel and chocolate and coffee. I am going to have to be in the mood for that one. Um, the next one is her espresso. I've had this one before. I don't know if I've made a custom with it, but I really like it. Mm, yes. Mm, that's the kind of coffee I like. Yes. Even this espresso though, to me, smells sweetened. It doesn't smell like straight up coffee. Like this to me almost smells like a coffee blend, like a sweetened vanilla sweet cream with espresso is what her plain espresso smells like to me, but it's very good. The next one is hazelnut coffee. Ooh, it is very sweet. It's almost like a hazelnut honey coffee. I definitely smell honey in here. So that is sweet too, but not sweet in a gooey way, more in a sugary way. Um, I like that, but not as much as the espresso. Uh, the next one is what she calls regular coffee. Uh, this used to be her, was it her Cuban coffee? Um, I think it has like, it's coffee, sweetened condensed milk and sugar or something. This one's a little bit lighter. It almost smells a like touch perfumey. Yeah. It's a little bit of a lighter, like easier on the coffee, but it's still coffee. It's a very like creamy, lighter coffee. And then the last one that on cold real quick, I liked the best, well, besides espresso, but of the blended ones, Tristan's Toffee Coffee. This is also a very popular blend of hers um, that people really like. This to me smells like, have you had a score bar or scores score? It's toffee covered, I think in dark chocolate. I could be wrong. That smells like coffee and a score bar. Um, but the chocolate doesn't bother me at all. Like this, this is a deeper, darker type blend. And I, I like that a lot. I enjoy that a lot. And so I wanted to see what all of her coffees smelled like. A, because I wanted coffee scents to blend or to melt, but also to see if I ever wanted to put them in a custom. So that those are all of her coffee scents. Okay. Oh my goodness. I found another sample. This is the last sample, I promise. Oh, I love these blend or these um, mold that she has the little like agaves. Um, this is sea minerals and ode this or oud, however you want to say it. This is an oil that she has had for a while and I have ordered before. Not often though. It very much is like a dry oceanic marine minerally scent and oud. I, gosh, I forgot how much I like this. And this color is like to die for. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, I forgot how much I liked that. Very just calm and beautiful. Um, very like dry. Like a dry woodsy. Like if you had a piece of like driftwood with a, that had been like saturated with uh, ocean water that was now dried. And everything that was in the water is still on that piece of driftwood. Kind of like that. Okay. Everything that's left is are my customs. So I will do the one that I did first where I ordered 16 ounces. These are what her eight ounce ounces of wax look like. It looks like I cut a little extra piece on it, which is so awesome. So this first one, my idea of this, it was like, first of all, I wanted to make a blend with Midnight Waters. Midnight Waters is like a 20 out of 10 melt of hers that is just so deep, deep and fresh and masculine and sexy and so crazy strong. I think I told her on this one to do 
uh, yeah, 20% Midnight Waters because it's so strong. And then, so I wanted to make a Midnight Waters blend, but then I was like, what, what can I do? And Midnight Waters, it's masculine and fresh and clean, but it also just reminds me of just like good times. I don't know why. So I thought, why don't I make a blend of like the memories of like me and my husband when we were dating, like something that would make a good memory scent of that time. So Midnight Waters, Aqua Di Gio is, and I did 40% Aqua Di Gio. That's a cologne scent that I love. It's very aquatic. So I thought it would bring out, because Midnight Waters does smell slightly aquatic, but not, not, there's not much true water scent in it, but Aqua Di Gio does have a true water scent in it to me. So those are two more like fresh scents, but I wanted something also to kind of have a touch of sweetness, a touch of smoothing it out. And so she has a scent called Sand and S'mores, which she says is not a dupe of Beach Nights, but to me, it smells like a blend that tries to smell like Beach Nights. That's just me. Someone else can have a different interpretation of it. So I blend it with that. So it's 20% Midnight Waters, 40% Aqua Di Gio, and 40% Sand and S'mores. And I named it Twisted Over You. If you're my age, I'll be 35 here soon. You know what song I'm talking about. You know, you know, you know. Um, I'm so obsessed with that song. So Twisted Over You, memories of like when me and my husband were dating. So I have not even smelled this yet. So you can see right there, it's called Twisted Over You. Um, oh, very fresh. So I, I definitely get the Midnight Waters the most. I'm glad I made that 20%. I should have maybe even made it 10%. I'm not selling much Aqua Di Gio, but I will say Aqua Di Gio is an interesting oil. I get it much more when it's melted and on warm. And I'm not getting much sand and s'mores. I mostly just smell the Midnight Waters, but it's a more like tampered Midnight Waters. But I'm going to let these cure for a little bit and then I'm going to actually melt them too to see what comes out the most. I will say I knew that Midnight Waters was an extremely strong oil. So I know it's going to dominate in here. Um, so even if this just ends up smelling like Midnight Waters, I will still be happy because I love that one so much. But right now this mostly smells like a slightly not as strong Midnight Waters right now. So we shall see what that ends up being though. Okay, so then I wanted to make a Soleil Blanc blend next. So I already kind of told you what Soleil Blanc was. It's a Tom Ford perfume type. It's a tropical white floral with a little bit of sunscreen kind of scent. Um, and then I love her Yacht Club oil so much. It's like a very, another aquatic men's cologne smell to me. It's a very fresh, like ocean faring men's masculine aquatic fresh scent. Um, and then I blended it with Sea Island cotton. So, and I called it date night on the yacht because it's almost as if a man was wearing the yacht club scent, the woman was wearing the Celil Blanc and then the Sea Island cotton would be like the sails or something. Not like I've ever been on a yacht, but you know what I mean? Um, so this one, let's see if I did percentages on this one. I did not. So I think I just, she just did whatever smelled good. So once again, Yacht Club, Soleil Blanc, and Sea Island Cotton, a date night on a yacht. Or the yacht. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, I get everything. I get every single thing. This is perfection. I love Sea Island Cotton so much. She has a great Sea Island Cotton uh, oil. It's a dupe for Bath & Body Works type, uh, by the way. And then blended with that slightly masculine aquatic scent. And then that feminine, slightly sunscreeny white floral. Like this definitely smells exactly like I was, it almost could be like a yacht wedding. Almost honestly is how that smells. Really good. Good job, Carla. Um, then next up, don't even ask me why I was in the mood for this, but I was in the mood for some um, fall scents. So my favorite time of year is fall. My favorite thing about Halloween and fall. To, well, okay. My favorite thing about fall is Halloween. My favorite thing about Halloween are haunted houses, period. I love haunted houses out here in Utah. There's a ton of haunted houses. They do a really good job with that out here. 
I've been saying for many years that I wish there'd be like a Utah State haunted house pass where you paid like a hundred bucks or something and you could go to every haunted house or something. But man, that would be a ton. So I wanted to do a scent called Haunted House Season. A couple things. I've been obsessed with pumpkin pecan waffles lately. And then also her, um, it was new last fall or winter, her apple clove butter melt is amazing. Like if you are a fall or spice or apple lover, or whatever, you must try that from her. It's so good. And then I love her fallen leaves oil so much. I could just melt that by itself. So I did apple clove butter, fallen leaves and pumpkin pecan waffles and called it haunted house season. And I don't think that I gave her a percentage on this one either. No, I just was like, do your thing, girl. Oh my gosh, it's perfection. The first thing that's hitting my nose when I open this bag is the apple clove butter. I kind of wanted that to be the case. Then the fallen leaves, which I wanted that to be the case also. I wanted that pumpkin pecan waffles to just be in the background to sweeten it up a little bit, cream it up a little bit and blend everything together. And perfect, perfection, Carla. Oh my gosh. This... I will be buying more. Um, this is a new fall staple. This is absolute fall perfection. Oh my gosh. Go girl. Amazing. Okay, last one. I don't know why, but I have also been really liking Cranberry Woods lately. Um, and so I just, I don't know. I just thought of this scent and I thought it would be great. And the color of these makes me think of, think of Strawberry Starburst and I kind of want to bite into one. But I call this one Heart of Fall. And I used cranberry woods, sugar waffle cone, and vanilla swirl. And I did 50% cranberry woods because I wanted it to be mostly cranberry woods. 25% sugar waffle cone and 25% vanilla swirl. And yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. You did the dang thing. This is so perfect. Um exactly what I want it to be. Mostly cranberry woods with that thick vanilla and waffle cone in the background. Oh my gosh. I have fallen in love. These are amazing. Um, yeah, you guys, I love Kay's. I love Carla. Her wax is so good. I love her customs. I want to hurry and get pictures up of these and put them on my Instagram so you guys can see. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let me know if these sound interesting to you. Um, sometimes I'm like, am I crazy on my customs or would other people like these too? I don't know. But anyways, I have to go pick up my kids. Have a good day. We'll see you later. Bye.